This experiment demonstrates the difference between rotating and non-rotating flows. First, let's consider non-rotating flows. We generate motion by just moving the water around kind of randomly, not imparting any particular directionality of the motion. We add colored dye so that we can visualize the flow. And as we see, the color dye is starting to spread throughout the tank, but it's not doing so in any particular pattern. There's not any particular structure to the flow. It's sort of just moving around in quasi random directions, diffusing the dye throughout the tank. As we see from the side view, we have the flow moving in all three dimensions roughly equally, again, not limited to any particular flow pattern. No coherent structures have formed. And by this point, it's kind of somewhat all mixed together and is turning a bit purple. But do things look different if it's rotating? So now we have a rotating tank at a speed of about 10 RPM. And first we need to check and see if it's in solid, bod solid body rotation. And so we insert a paper dot and the top view from the co-rotating camera shows that the paper dot is not moving in the rotating reference frame, meaning that the water is all moving at the same speed as the rotating table and it's in solid body rotation. We now generate motion by again just um, swishing around the water, not imparting any particular direction of motion and adding colored dye to visualize the flow. As seen from the rotating view of the camera, spiraling patterns have started to form where the blue and red dye is moving throughout the domain. This is again flow relative to the rotating tank. With time, the spiraling structures become more prominent. If you take a look at the side view, we can see that the flow is moving in coherent vertical sheets. So it's not really moving around in every which direction. It's every column of fluid is moving together in spirals. And these spiraling patterns have become more prominent and persistent as the flow has evolved. With the red and blue dye, you know, not mixing together necessarily to form purple, but moving alongside each other. Again, these vertical sheets or columns of fluid where every layer of the fluid is moving together at the same speed in the horizontal. This demonstrates how rotation imparts rigidity to the flow where the flow is uniform along the axis of rotation. The spiraling patterns demonstrate the strong constraints that rotation places on the type and structure of a rotating flow. We'll now turn off the rotation and let the water in the tank spin down.